Now, there's another way that we can capture a performance uh, that's new to Live 10, which is actually called Capture, and it's this button up here in the control bar. Um, now, what's happening is Live is always listening to MIDI that you play in the background, even if you're not currently recording. So we still need the track armed for this so that we can actually have a play. You notice that the button isn't active at the moment. Now, as soon as I start to hit a button, a note on the keyboard rather, you see that pops up which indicates that there is something for live to capture. So let me just start the thing playing and I'm just going to have a bit of a jam over the top. Something like that. So, uh, say for argument's sake, I thought, oh damn, I really wanted to um, perhaps record that. I'm probably not going to be able to play it that well again. Uh, thankfully, we've got the capture button. So you see I've selected a, uh, an empty clip slot, press capture. And you see it's recorded everything. Uh, it's just selected a shorter portion to loop, but it's not a problem, I can just drag out the loop brace. It's maintained the nuances of my playing. And now if I wanted to, I could select all the notes, right click, quantize. And quantize will just apply the settings that you last had under the quantize, uh, quantization settings function. So you see, it's just applied these settings for me. So it's just uh, you, you miss out that dialog box by just pressing quantize. So let's just stop the drums playing. Let's just arm the drums track. Let's just try writing a slightly different beat. Okay, so... So we're happy with that. We forgot to press record, doesn't matter. We can just click capture. Here are the drums. Um, just obviously just have to change the loop brace. It's a little bit out, so we can just highlight, right click, quantize. You see that note falls just before the start of the bar. So we're missing it, but highlight it, press right. just a little bit too late so I can nudge it forward. So there's a couple of different ways that you can actually record, capture and edit MIDI using a MIDI keyboard as opposed to programming using the mouse.